Hey, it's Mark. We're going to show everybody how to install some of the LEDs in the Model 3. Of course, the Model 3 is different. These are mounted up in the trunk, and they're mounted in cardboard or very, very thin, flexible material. So some people have had trouble with them, and they've actually sent them back. So we decided to make this little video to show you how to do it. So let's start on the right side in the Model 3 in the trunk. Light on to show you all these recessed openings or channels. So you have to get the screwdriver in here and twist it. And once you twist it, it is loose. Okay, now it hangs down. So this side's pretty easy, even though it's not reinforced much. So we were gonna show you how to do it. So anyway, let's switch it. So it's gonna go from that to this. So let's watch this carefully. And also there's another way to release the light so we didn't realize. You can just simply put your screwdriver in the slot and push it down and they release the same way they do as if you put it in like this. So there are two release ways. Now we're gonna plug in the RPM list, right? Wow, what a difference, huh? All right. Okay, then we're just simply gonna push it up inside, snap it in, and you notice you can put your fingers around these slots if you need to get into this area. So now let's let's go over here to the right side. The right side has given the left side has given people more trouble. So here, again, we have this webbing that lets air flow up inside. So I like to put my finger in, put it behind the light, twist the light, get it loose, and then it comes right down. So see my thumb, my finger was actually pushing it down. Now it is inside of a plastic housing on some of the newer cars. So there is a plastic ring back here that is actually holding it in so it's not just hanging on to the felt. I think this is a recent improvement as I don't notice it in our cars. So let's upgrade this and plug the light in. Super bright, okay. Now, I'm gonna turn the light around and show everybody what I'm talking about. So this little plastic frame is in some of the new cars. It's, it's basically the housing for the light. So I'm gonna go inside the back with my fingers, turn it around, and put the LED housing right back in place with the opening. And I'm holding it with one finger. And then we're gonna put it back in, snaps back into place. And this plastic housing is just more like a little rectangle that's not attached to anything. So again, I'll put it right back over the top. So we're good to go. And this is the best you're gonna get anything mounted in the back of the Model 3s. All right, let's move on to the doors. We have a little difference to note with the doors in the Model 3, okay? The moment that you release your current LED light, you're gonna hear a beep in the vehicle and the window is going to go up. So we recommend you do not try to, watch how easy this is. We recommend you do not try to close the door before you plug in the light. So here's the light. This one doesn't have a lot of slack. You'll notice the difference in a minute. To release the clasp on the back, push down on the little tab. Try it this way too, because this actually pushes it down as well. So right in there. So you can release it this way, or you can release the tab this way. Whatever is easier. And now we're gonna plug it back in. Super bright, six chip LED light, 10 times brighter than the factory. And now when you open these back doors, all you're gonna see is white light. Thanks again, RPM Tesla Model 3. LED upgrade light installation and puddle lights.